Tim Staples. I'm the Director of Apologetics and Evangelization for Catholic Answers. I'm basically here because I'm a Doug Berry groupie. <laughs> you, you, need, no. you need a lifetime. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. I, Doug and I go back a long way. I, I bailed him out of jail a couple of times. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But I, I would sort of re-echo what, what Father said. I've been at this now for about 22 years, speaking, traveling and speaking. Even in my last two years, when, when I was in formation for the priesthood, I was traveling during my breaks and such and speaking. And for the last 20 years, I've been full-time as an apologist. and doing. A, I've probably been traveling more than a human being ought to. But there's one thing that is exciting to me, among many, but I, I remember, you know, Father, when I first started this 20 years ago, there wasn't a whole lot of men's conferences to speak of. I mean, they were rare birds. And I was always excited to go and speak at a men's conference because I, you know, you should know, gentlemen, that, you know, I look at it as the women are the, the sources of civilization, right? Uh, without the feminine, without the women, and ultimately our Blessed Mother in our lives. I mean, you and I are running around throwing spears at each other, you know. <laughs> Women are the keepers of civilization, but the church, a culture, a family, is only as strong as its men. Mm -hmm. And I believe, I was telling the guys earlier, in the last eight conferences I've done, six of them have been men's conferences, just here recently. And I'm seeing extraordinary things happen. And, and I have to believe that's part and parcel of what God is doing right now when we are living in a time where the empire is not only crumbling, but it's pretty much crumbled. This administration has seen to that just in the last five years. Hey, who would have thought how precipitous would have been our, our, our decline, and yet here we are. The empire is crumbling, and yet, at the same time, and we can go back over history, guys, and we all know this is true, it's in the darkest moments in history that God raises up the greatest men. In the fourth century, probably the darkest time in 2,000 years, gives rise to St. Epiphanius, St. Augustine, St. Jerome, St. Hilary, St. Athanasius, and the, the list goes on. And I believe God is looking for a few good men right now, and God is raising them up. And it's, it's right here, as Father Casey said. It's in events like this that you really see men stepping up to the fore and starting to, to take the challenge. You know, we're being challenged now. We've got an administration in Washington. Forgive me for picking on Obama because it's so easy. But, but we have, seriously, an, an, an administration that's basically pointing their finger right in, in your face, sir, in your face, and saying, do you think we care about what you believe? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're saying, you're going to pay for abortion. You're going to pay for contraception. You're going to pay, pay for sterilization, whether you like it or not. And I do believe, as some of the guys have said earlier, that there are some men that are catching fire. The proof's in the pudding. I think these men conference, men's conferences are an example of that, and I think this is an example of that. So, gentlemen, I believe you and I are being called to stand up in this day, at this time, and act like men, because we haven't been for the last 50 or 60 years, and that's why we're in this mess. But I am so encouraged to be here, guys. I, I got the Holy Ghost goosebumps right now to prove it, because when I see you guys and, the conver and hear the conversations that we've been having, I know I get a shot in the arm. I can't wait to get out there tomorrow. The problem's going to be 35 minutes. <laughs> now we've got to do this, man. 35 minutes. You can't even do the open jokes in 35 That's right. I can't introduce myself in 35 minutes. But anyway. We have an answer session on That's right. Well, I mean, no, we're, we were just jo joking about it. Actually, when you only have 35 minutes, you really got to... It takes a lot more time for me to prepare for 35 minutes than it does for an hour. Because, because I, I've got to be very concise and that's what we need to be. But the point is, gentlemen, this is an exciting time. Let's pray. Let's pray tonight. And, and trust God because tomorrow we pray that each person that's there is going to hear from the Holy Spirit what he needs to hear. 
to be transformed so that we can go out from this place and really make a difference. God bless you guys. Thank you.